I was able to do it, and I'm probably the few that was a young mum still playing and currently, and I've seen the other mums now who are younger, and I know exactly what they're going through. So I can sympathise, empathise with them, but at the same time, they're making it work too. And when they come up to their own challenges, I'm like, you can do this. training for any kind of sport, you have to do it around the kids. You can't do it during the time that you have it with them because it, it won't work. Like, I know I see some mums, you know, squatting with their babies and things like that. And I probably did something like that for fun, but it's also important I found early was to make sure I had time for myself because when you do have young kids, it's full on. When I moved to Melbourne, that was when, I guess, the breakup really hit me and I was on my own. I didn't know anyone in Melbourne. I moved to stay with my, my uncle and his family. So starting again was really hard. So that first year really tested me. First thing I did when I moved to Melbourne was, was find a, a team to play for. So once I started finding a team, you know, I started to meet other parents and just make other friends. And that I, I feel that was the quickest way for me to to just be out there was, and then also have my my boys involved. So everything I ever did after that was all about having them involved with what I was doing, which was pretty much work, sport, and them. I love the game, you know, and it was my outlet. Yeah, you because know, you can actually hit people <laughs> legally. Uh, and, um, you know, so that's where I, that was 80 minutes that I, I would get to play that I could just, just be me and I could just let all my frustrations out and rugby's the perfect place for it because it's contact. There was a strain on our relationship because, you know, I was up here, he was looking after the kids, and I'm up here kicking a ball. And I'll go, I don't kick the ball. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a kicker, I'm in the forwards. <laughs> so I'd always try to put some kind of humour into it so that he could relax, but it was really tough. And I went through many challenges with teams and, and with work last year uh, that, that rocked me pretty badly. Just breathe. Come around here, I'm just gonna do that roll on you guys, okay? I miss the boys, and when things got really tough, you know, it made me wanna just get on the plane and go back. But at the same time, I think there was still that uh, kind of thought inside that I, I didn't wanna go back down to Melbourne because, because I had a taste of how good the competition was and the potential. In my age, I probably won't get an opportunity like that again. So that's why I moved up here, was to make the most of it. I'm not in a position where, you know, it's where the game is giving us money at, at, at a higher level, and that's fine. Um, but at the same time for the boys, I want them to know, look, if it's important to you, go for it. I train them rain or shine. So they're like, oh, it's raining. I'm like, no, because I want them to know that you're going to have your rainy days. So what am I starting with? The storm's uh, going to keep coming and it's going to blow over, but you've got to just chip away and get through it. That's what I love about sport is that it has those 
challenging moments, uh, you know, this adversity. And uh, my biggest lessons and my biggest teachings has been from my losses, not my wins. And that's, and that has made me grow as a person. And I don't want my kids to look at me and go, I didn't try. And then when they come up on, you know, to opportunities like that with work, uh, you know, maybe sport, whatever they're doing in their life, I could be like drop kicking them out of the house. I'm like, go, you can do this. And I know for them, they have that, a uh, sense of encouragement, knowing that their mum took a chance too and just draw strength from that.